So now, the good news is I'm not going to make you implement this guy. I'm going to make you implement integration in a minute. So this is how, which will test how you integrate, uh, how you understood this one. So if we look at the interpolator method, which is in the class, so we can click through, then we'll see that this is what it does. So that code we just saw in the notes was copied straight out of this function. So we get the function space, we build the Lagrange element, we tabulate the, this element at the nodes, we get the corresponding function space, and then 4C in range FS mesh entity counts minus one. My lord, what does that do? Yeah? For every cell in the mesh. For every cell in the mesh. So mesh knows how many entities of each dimension it has. And the minus one dimension is the last dimension. So that's the cells. Um, and so then all I have to do is get the node coordinates, which I get by multiplying, that's A, remember, by the vertex coordinates. And now I just write out exactly what you wrote out for interpolating locally. Right, that code looks almost identical to the code you wrote to interpolate into a single finite element. Uh, the only difference is that the node coordinates now are the global coordinates corresponding to those points instead of the local ones. Simples.